Good morning, everybody. This is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. I want to show you what a beautiful morning it is here in Eastern Kentucky. No spraying. Wow. This is what a sky is supposed to look like. Right? But anyway, I hope everybody has, is having a good morning. My birds are going to town on this hole here. This is the hole that the criminals burns. And because they burned a hole here, it brought it down to the soil. And of course, the soil contains a lot of bugs. So what the criminals have done is they've instigated the birds to create a, a dig a deeper hole because they don't do it to the grass. They just comb the grass for bugs. Ticks are the specialty. But I want to give a shout out to all the perpetrators that immediately downvoted and left derogatory comments under the stalker Zoom Boy video. The one who revs up his engine, who drives from his house up there deliberately. And they all hang out there too. Like my neighbor drives up there. They all kind of hang out there. And then they wait for me to come out or they wait for their instructions. And he comes zooming down on Memorial Day, may, revs up the engine and then drives by. He didn't perform the U-turn in the driveway that time because he was being videotaped. Although he doesn't really care because he's a paid for hire creepo. So I'm not deleting the comments actually. <laughs> I'm doing better than deleting your comments. I report you to YouTube for harassing me. And then I block you. And when you are blocked from my channel, your comments automatically disappear. So what was that, Simon Lewis or whatever. And then um, four more yesterday, as soon as I posted the Zoom Boy perp video, it was downvoted to 66, yes, 66%. It hadn't even been up there long but it was downvoted to 66% and I received all these derogatory comments about taking my meds and uh, what am I talking about and you know all kinds of comments that had nothing to do with the video nothing to do with the fact of the noise campaign okay and then people left derogatory comments on the testimony of a subscriber I have no tolerance for that, okay? It's not about shutting down conversation. It's about shutting down derogatory, nasty comments either towards me or one of my subscribers. If you don't like what's being said on my channel, go somewhere else. So that person, what is it? Simon Lewis or whomever it is that I just blocked and reported for your comments. I, went, I always go to somebody's channel before I do that. I see who they're commenting on. And when you have no videos, no subscribers, and you're only commenting on my videos, you are a bot, you are a perpetrator, you are a troll, and you will be blocked from my channel. So you can create as many memes as you want. They're going to continue to get blocked. And just for the people out there, when you block a person from your channel, their comments automatically disappear. They cannot be seen. I'm sure they're somewhere in YouTube land, but they're not in my comment section or yours, you know, if, um, you know, if you're blocking somebody. So that, that's what happens. So no, I welcome conversation, but I will get rid of a perp in a heartbeat. And if you're one of my criminal neighbors that are participating, before you get blocked, I will jot down who you are and then block you, okay? So when I post videos of my criminal neighbors doing the gang stalking, hate crime harassment, you will be reported to YouTube and then blocked, okay? So you're going to be reported to YouTube if you're harassing one of my subscribers or commenting on a video that a testimony about their life 
If you're saying derogatory things about that individual, you will be reported for harassment and then blocked. Okay? That's the way I work my channel. I know that other YouTube creators have been doing the same thing. Okay? Didn't your mother teach you, if you have nothing good to say, then shut your mouth, okay? And that the fact that you're trolling my videos to deliberately place the negative comments when you're not commenting on anybody else's video except mine, you give yourself away, okay? My subscribers and myself, we're a little bit smarter than you guys, okay? That's why we're in the program as long as we are. We haven't unalived ourselves, and we're not going to. Just for the record, I've never been suicidal. I don't take medication. I never have. I don't even take an aspirin. I don't smoke, drink drugs. I don't drink soda. I read labels so that I don't ingest hydrogenated vegetable oils. And before I moved to rural Kentucky, I was healthy as can be. But yes, the criminals around here have set up a kill grid. And how could I say that? Oh, you're going to say, oh, she's delusional. Don't worry, I have a forensic. I hired a forensics person, losers, out there. I hired a forensics person. And don't let it go unnoticed that my neighbor is an electrician who installs smart meters for a living. Yeah, could you imagine what karma? Yeah, that's the black ski mask. Installs smart meters for a living. Oh, and by the way, I just wanted to mention at 3.30 a.m. this morning. Yeah, 3.30. 3.30 a.m., a gunshot went off. Can't imagine what it could have been. It was only one at 3.30 a.m. And what was I doing awake at 3.30? I was actually in my bed going to, going to sleep after bandaging my arm. And yes, I'm still bandaging my arm. I'm going on four weeks that I'm still having to bandage my arm from the controlled cat honeypot demolition. So anyway, so that's my little rant about comments and also another thing about comments is youtube also removes comments or well, I, I can't say that they're removing them but depending on who you are if you're a targeted person um your comments may be inter intercepted by your controller your handler your your community-based agent whomever's in your phone or laptop or computer um will sometimes erase comments. Also, sometimes comments get held for me. They get held in my YouTube studio for review. And when I go in there, and I don't know if you guys have seen this, you go in there and you'll see a comment that hasn't been posted yet. And underneath that, there's a little check mark. There's a little X. So you can, and I could make that person's that person, um, all of their comments always go through. I can check that off. I can make a moderator out of somebody. But when I click the check mark, or if I automatically respond to it, it will automatically get posted in the comments section. So yeah, to the uh, creepo that left two messages this morning, uh, you're blocked. <laughs> you're going to have to create another handle. That's one of those new vehicles. Yeah, that's one of the criminals. One of the stalkers. That's a female, by the way. Female stalker. Yeah, they've all got new vehicles. And another reason why they continue to get the new vehicles, guys, is because we will nab their license plates in their vehicles, sort of like my neighbor, you know, who had the license plate blessed on her red SUV. The cursed one, you know, who sold her soul to the devil. The one who has a son who sticks his middle finger up. And the uh, husband who uh, co-opted one of my workers here on Memorial Day weekend 2022 to destroy my property. That's right. So, yes, yeah, so they, what they do is they will change off their vehicles. You know, there's money out of the kazoo. There's so much money 
that rather than donate it to the food pantry, right? Rather than donate it to the homeless, rather than donate it to uh, rape victims, right? Rather than donate it to animal rescue people, they'll continue to buy these criminals new vehicles over and over and over again. They get to change their license plates. And this way, when they're driving back and forth, the usual cars that you associate with them are not the same vehicles. And they'll do this one every year, every other year. I guess these cars, they might be leased. I don't know. I mean, if you know for sure, leave a comment down below. But the cars may be leased. So they may be running on leased time. They might have a brand new leased vehicle that they have to give back in two years. But they could change their license plates anytime. And what I've noticed with the license plates, at least one or two of them, my area code for New Jersey was area code 732. And, 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 and observe your license plates too. See if any of your license plates are associated with your area code. So I've seen 732 on some of these license plates. Yes. So anyway, this is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. I just wanted to clarify that. If I block someone, if, if you block somebody, the comments associated with that person's account is automatically removed from your comment section. Okay? But I recommend that if you go, if somebody's leaving a nasty or derogatory comment, like take your meds or you're schizophrenic or you need help or whatever, Report them first to YouTube. Report them for harassment or and it's like harassment bullying. And then there's a little drop down that says harassing who? Is it someone else or is it you? And then if you see that they're harassing someone else, click that and report them. So we know how we did that with Mr. Gorilla Boy, right? We did that repeatedly over and over and over again. So anyway, um, Let's see, we've got another somebody coming down. It might, could be the male person. It is the male. No, it's not the male person. But you notice how that creepo just, he just covered his mouth. He just covered his mouth and put his head down with his baseball cap. Instead of like waving, you know, friendly neighbors, he was neighbors. I'm here five years. That's right, folks. I am here five years. I had my five year anniversary this, this past weekend. After being here five years, you would think that people that drive by would be waving like, oh, hi, you know, even if they're a perp wave, that piece of crap put his hand to his mouth and put his head down. Okay? So this is how you know when they're involved in your torture in the go along to get along harassment scheme. So anyway, this is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. It's gonna be in the 70s and not a cloud or chemi in the sky, but give it time, you never know. <laughs> but this is what it looks like here. So I am in the valley which means I'm, sur I'm in a dip. I'm surrounded by trees. And I think I hear somebody else coming. Let's see if we can get this creature. This is another one, female. She's another